So, how to know which pages you can edit through the widgets and which pages you can edit through the membership features? Like I said on a previous video, if you visit a website, any part of your, of your site, you can run the magnifying glass here and see all the widgets that are used on that page. But on some pages, you'll see this. This means there are membership features being used on this page, on this particular page, to display some information. When this happens, typically, in most cases at least, you will want to edit the membership feature assigned to that page instead of the widgets because it will contain the information needed to customize some of the information shown on the page. So for example, let's see here. I just removed, see? I just removed the showing of the widgets. So I'm seeing this page and now I know that a membership feature is being used here. The membership feature is called listing. So what do we want to do? We want to hide the specialties option here for example. So we know this is a search results so we go to the search results tab and then we're going to start looking for that specific code. Uh, there are several ways of doing that but a really fast way is just right clicking there, spec element and then we can see some HTML code here. We can see class bold, text right, our path, hidden excess and all that and we can look for that here. As we can see we found it here. We can actually test if this is the, the actual part of the code that will hide that. I wrote some code there. I'm going to refresh now and it should appear in that part. You can see here. You can see that I added that there. So we can now simply either remove the whole line remove the, the 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 whole both TDs or in just this particular case we want to remove this specific line to customize the search results so now see we don't see any information there now let's remove both lines this one and this one just in case we can do it like this and now the whole line this won't appear you can see it. we only see business now but you can also do it if you read the code you're going to notice that we're actually checking if the profile services have any information in them so it says here if the profile services variable contains doesn't contain an empty string then it shows those two TDs HTML um, table data so we can like invert this for example which would do the same hide the the line here you can see it's not there anymore let's put it back so you can see how the code was and you can customize any other options here you can also try to print what other variables you can show here. Let's print for example let's print let's look around here and we can see we got user data. Okay let's print user data there. Let's put it there. Save it. Use it. Refresh it. And we got all of this information here. Mm, let's say we want to show the the city. We want to use this variable inside of the array so we want to show the, the state okay we're going to use the state ln of the user data array so we're gonna let's set that up like this let's remove everything from here and let's put it let's put it here Let's put in another TR for for that table. Okay. 
Okay, we're going to put the whole code here. Like that. And we're going to put a name, a different name here. Doesn't use the same label. Let's say state. Okay, let's save that. Refresh here. And now we see we got state, New York. We got a custom uh, search results now. So you can see that if you want to edit some parts of the of the site, you will need to check if they're actually membership features or widgets. As so, hope this video helped and gives you an insight of which type of solution to use, either a widget or a membership feature.